What's up guys this is Sean Heather and today we are going to unbox the Honor 9X smartphone. We will have a look on the device, its design, whatever content we got inside this retail box and all of the usual unboxing stuff in this video. But before that if you have not subscribed to this channel till now then press the subscribe button and the bell icon to get the notification for all of the future uploads. And now let's start the unboxing. So first of all let's have a look on the retail box as you can see here we got the honor 9x written we got an image of the device showing the back and front both then on the sides once again we got the honor 9x branding and honor branding at the top at the bottom we got the information that this is honor 9x it comes with 6 gb ram 128 gb storage and the device we got inside the retail box is sapphire blue so let's open the box and let's see what we got inside So here is our Honor 9X. So here we got a SIM card tray ejector pin and a silicon TPU back case. Huawei 10 watt charger, a USB type C cable and a 3.5 mm earphone. So these are the stuff we got inside the retail box of Honor 9X, the smartphone. USB Type-C cable, 3.5mm earphone, 10 watt charger, a silicon case and a SIM card tray ejector pin. So here is the Honor 9X smartphone in sapphire blue color variant. Let's switch on the device and while it's booting up for the very first time, let's talk about its hardware specs and features. So it comes with Kirin 710 processor, 6GB RAM, 128GB storage. A 6.59 inch full HD plus screen with 91% screen to body ratio. We got a rear fingerprint sensor. There is a USB Type C port, 4000 mAh battery with 10 watt charging, and on the front side we got 16 megapixel pop up selfie camera, and on the back side we got a triple rear camera setup. So now I'm going to do a quick setup to reach the home screen first. And here we go. So this is the home screen of Honor 9X smartphone. So first of all let's talk about the design of Honor 9X. As you can see that the front side is basically just a screen. We got a huge screen with great screen to body ratio. Here at the bottom we got a bit of chin, the bezels as you can see. Also at the sides we got a tiny little amount of bezels as well. At the top the bezels are pretty negligible and we got an earpiece right above the screen. On the top we got the 16 megapixel pop-up selfie camera module, SIM card slot and a microphone. At the bottom we got a USB Type-C port, 3.5mm audio jack, a microphone and the speaker grill. On the left hand side of the device there is nothing provided and on the right side we got the volume rockers along with the power key. On the back of the device we got the fingerprint sensor, the triple camera module along with the flash and the Honor branding at the bottom. One of the most highlighted part of the design of Honor 9X is the Dynamic X back panel. So basically it reflects the light in a way and creates an illusion of X written on it. As you can see that when I'm moving the device a nice effect is getting created on the back of the device. It's not exactly X as shown on the retail box of Honor 9X but still it's pretty good. So it's looking really nice and beautiful and it's kind of new effect that you will not find on the back panel of other smartphones. So in terms of design Honor 9X is a beautiful smartphone and it comes with flagship level design and build quality. The front of the device looks very beautiful because of the high screen to body ratio. There is no notch provided on the screen and it comes with a pop-up selfie camera module. There is a 3.5mm audio jack provided as well and the back panel of Honor 9X comes with Dynamic X design. The only drawback here is that the device is slightly thick with 8.8mm thickness but still it's not too thick. 
Also, Honor does not mention officially that what kind of screen protection we got on the Honor 9X and whether it is IP certified or not. But the good thing is that it comes with a pre-applied screen protector. So talking about the design, Honor 9X is a beautiful device with flagship level design. And now let's talk about the screen. So as we have already mentioned that it comes with 6.59 inch full HD plus screen with 91% screen to body ratio. So the PPI you are going to get is nearly 400 and that's pretty good for sure. The screen to body ratio is high but we still got a bit of bezel at the bottom and also on the side but since there is no notch provided the viewing experience on the Honor 9X is going to be a good one especially while playing games or watching video content. And talking about the display quality it seems pretty good as well. Even if I bring the screen so close to the camera lens you won't see any pixelation or blurriness on the screen and the viewing angles are good as well. So the display quality of Honor 9X screen is pretty good for sure. This is the maximum brightness level we got on Honor 9X and it feels pretty bright enough especially if we go to the white so you can see that how bright it is everything goes dark in the background because of the screen brightness. So it seems pretty good but we will check in the detailed review of Honor 9X that how good it's going to perform in the outdoors but right now the brightness seems pretty strong and good enough. And the touch screen sensitivity is pretty nice as well as you can see that it's responding to my touches all over the screen pretty smoothly. It's not having any issue while I'm moving my thumb so quickly all over the screen and it's quite good. So the touch screen sensitivity is nice here as well. And now let's talk about the software and UI based features. So the very first thing I would like to mention is that the Honor 9X still come with all of the Google Play applications. As you can see there is Play Store pre-installed and there is a set of Google applications provided as well. So if you are planning to buy Honor 9X then you don't have to worry about the Google Play Store and the Google applications and you will keep getting the Android updates as well. So this is the standard Emotion UI home screen as you can see it comes with optimizer theme, music, video. There is a set of Google applications in the Google folder and then we got Play Store Gallery. Here we got the Wave Care App Gallery Files Health, Wave Browser once again, Clock, Calendar. There is Honor Store provided as well along with email, notepad. There is a tips application to know more about your device. We got a party mode application that connects multiple smartphones and play the same song simultaneously to create a party effect. And then we got a folder called tools where you will find some useful and interesting options. It comes with FM radio as well. As you can see here, we got compass pre-installed and then some basic applications like weather calculator, phone recorder, phone clone is provided as well that will help you to move all of your content from your old phone to Honor 9X. If you go to the settings and then go to system and then about phone section here you will find more information about the device that it is Honor 9X it comes with Emotion UI 9.1 Android 9 Pie the CPU used is Kirin 710F we got 6 GB RAM 128 GB storage out of which 118.44 GB is free so nearly 10 GB is consumed by pre-installed applications and the ROM this is the screen resolution and it comes with September Android security patch level and now let's talk about the camera on the back side we got a 48 megapixel primary camera 2 megapixel depth sensor and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens while on the front side we got a pop-up selfie camera module with 16 MP camera so if we launch the camera application this is the user interface that you will get on Honor 9x it's pretty standard Emotion UI user interface so it comes with photo, video, there is portrait mode, there is night mode provided as well it comes with AIS night mode and it's supposed to perform pretty good and then we got the aperture mode for creating bokeh effect and depth of field in the pictures and if you go to the more here you will find more options so as you can see that it comes with pro mode, slow motion video recording, panorama, light painting, HDR 
We got time lapse, moving picture, filter and stickers as well. On the main screen you can see that this is an AI camera and we got the Huawei Vision as well that's AI powered camera lens and here in the settings you will find some more options so we will have a look on all of them in our detailed camera review of Honor 9X but now let's take few pictures of this retail box and let's see how good it's going to be by default as you can see that AI mode is turned off so I'm not going to use it right now for taking photos so the touch focusing is pretty good as you can see it's not the fastest but fast enough and pretty accurate as well so let's have a look on the images that I have just captured so it seems quite good So it's capturing good amount of detail as you can see, especially if you have a look in this picture. So on the box there is some kind of smudges that is not visible from the naked eye or from this angle as you can see here, but it's captured in the image. So you can see that we got some spots here on the box of our Honor 9X and it's captured and it is showing good amount of detail once again so this is pretty good once again here same thing so the camera performance is looking good for sure But we captured these images in the artificial light inside this room. So we will have a look on all of these camera features and the performance of Honor 9X camera in the detailed camera review. But right now at the first glance it's looking pretty good for sure and let me give you a quick glance of the pop-up selfie camera module. So if I just turn on the front facing camera it will pop out like that as you can see. And surprisingly for the front facing camera by default the AI mode is turned on that was not the case when we launched the primary camera that was not the case when we launched the rear camera so it goes in like this and comes out like this so at the first glance Honor 9X looks pretty good in every aspect talking about the design it comes with flagship level premium design and build quality the screen to body ratio is huge the back of the device comes with dynamic X design, we got a 3.5mm audio jack as well, there is no notch on the screen and we got a trendy pop-up selfie camera. The screen of Honor 9X is nice and impressive, the display quality is good, the viewing angles are nice and the brightness seems good as well. Another good thing about Honor 9X that it comes with Google Play Store and Google applications pre-installed on it and you will keep getting the Android updates as well. Talking about the camera performance, at the first glance it's looking pretty good, it's capturing lots of detail, the focusing speed is good enough, it's not the fastest but it's still it's quite good and it comes with lots of features and options on which we will have a look in the detailed camera review of Honor 9X. So that's all for now, thanks for watching this video, do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads because Lots of more videos of Honor 9X are going to be uploaded very soon on this channel. So I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.